Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Santa's a fraud and you're a bleep hole. Good afternoon. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you a little story how a man named Tommy Cutlets and his hitman agent have ruined my life and made yours. I mean, first of all, none of this has to do with you, Lions fan. I'm happy for you guys. I'm happy that you get a little relief. Packers losing makes your life a little easier. We can calm down a little bit about the division. We'll we'll get to the Lions later, but no, we need to have a discussion because, first of all, the man to my left is a bad actor, supposedly a friend, supposedly a respected co-worker, and uh, he did the worst thing he you, you can do. When you know someone has just suffered an emotional loss in sports, you know what you don't do? You don't text them. You don't get cute. You don't get pithy. You just don't do anything. You don't. I don't care. Text somebody else. Do whatever you want. Don't text me. Don't do that. So that was one. Oh, that's one. (laughs) But I have to ask a question because this happens from time to time. And I don't mean from bought and paid writers or idiot fans who don't understand the value of draft capital. No, those people are just helpless. They can't do anything else. Either they're owned or they're brainless or a combination of both. But see, what took place last night, see, David just got cute. That's one for you. And Kenny, well, I wish death upon one of his favorite players. So that's one for you. What took place last night, I don't think it makes me a bad fan. The New York football giants started the year two and eight. You made a statement to the world, you are ass. So at that point in time, the only thing I ask you to be is who you are. Just be ass. Not even good ass. Stinky ass. Just be ass. Lose. Lose with force. Because I had dreams of Caleb Williams or Drake May and a future. But see, now what is happening, it's annoying on both ends. Not only are they winning games, but we're doing it with a cartoon character. And this is what I mean when I went crazy about ESPN and how uh, we just do these narratives. It's idiots making content for idiots. Tommy Cutlets and pieces of chicken floating across the screen. And a hitman agent. Oh, is that Johnny Fontaine? No, it's Johnny F.U. See, oh, show his effing family again. Dude, I grew up with these people, all right? I lived in that world. It's a cartoon. So now, my team has no future. Just like David's. Oh, not the beautiful team on his sweatshirt, go blue. No, no, no. His Steelers. The Steelers never lose enough to get a real quarterback. Hey, David. Hey, David. Not Not wait. It's just like Jimmy Powers' team. That happy horse bleep team in Atlanta. Hey, Jimmy, I don't need an answer because I just talked to you in your office. Not great because Desmond Ritter's your bum-ass QB. So now I'm sitting here and my life is ruined because the Giants went from having the number two pick in the draft. We're currently drafting ninth. And over the course of last night, I did some terrible things. I mean, I told my dad to lose my number. I told one of my best buddies in New York he's a functioning moron. And I wished Rico's house would collapse upon him while he slept. You can't tell your dad that. I told him, if you're going to do this celebratory crap, lose the number, Man, and I'll see you at Christmas Eve. You got to put respect on Big G's name. I do not. Not when he goes no, into no, no. this. Big G earned respect. I'm enjoying it for the moment. What an idiotic take. Because the moment is ruining the next five years of the franchise. So I have a question to the people. Don't worry, we're going to get to the Lions. Don't worry. We're going to celebrate good times because another team did something great for us. You know, you do you know what it is? Oh, I know. Nah. But no. But, 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 but. What? Okay, so why is it, Mike, that the New York media is hyping this kid up? Idiots they, making they was, content for idiots. Hey, oh, oh, hey, Tommy Cutler. All it is is a sales pitch. This guy's a nobody. He's a nothing. Two and eight. Lose. If I owned the Giants, I would have given Tommy DeVito 10 million to disappear. 
Dayball, here's an extension. Call your worst plays. Lose. Lose. So here's my question to you, Detroit. Am I a bad fan? I don't enjoy it for the moment. I don't get happiness in it. I don't find Tommy DeVito, his family, or that ridiculous Halloween costume his agent wore last night. I don't find any of it enjoyable. I don't find any of it cute. I don't find it humorous, novel, none of it. It is an active sabotage of the future of my franchise. Because now, you know what I'm going to get? I'm going to get Daniel Jones in a halo to start 2024. It's not fun. It's not. If you say the phrase to me, why can't you just enjoy it for the moment? I'm taking you out of my phone. I hate you. Can't do it. My dad's like, well, what do you want me to do? Stop rooting for it, dad. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to ask the question. Do you vibe with what I'm saying with your teams? Do you understand? Or am I a bad fan? Am I a bad fan for wanting better? For knowing? Hey, last year, remember when Carolina won too many games? Remember what they needed to do to move up to get Bryce Young? Oh, I don't know. Something called whoring out their entire future. Well, now I'm sitting at ninth. I can't draft Caleb. I can't draft Drake May. I won't have access to Mike Penix. I have Stugatz. Hey, there's a phrase maybe. Maybe, oh, oh, Tommy Cutlets. He knows what Stugatz is because that's what I got in my in my stocking. Santa gave me the wrong kind of cannoli, and it's in my stocking. So I'm asking the question. I don't find any of it funny. This lazy media cartoon character garbage. This guy is is an incel. He's actively wrecking the New York Giants, and I'm supposed to celebrate him. And I have allegedly smart people reaching out to me, gaslighting me like I'm crazy. No, I'm not crazy. I wanted a top five pick. I need a quarterback. My other quarterback has a neck that is destroyed and a blown out knee and might actually suck. Oh, remember when this guy to my left? Nice pullover. I should know. I bought it. This bearded idiot and this fraud who's supposed to be a pastor but doesn't do anything, anything Jesus would do. The three of you panned. With no, the Giants. No, Don't you dare. No. Da- no. No. I'm going to tell you something. <laughs> no. It's too close to Christmas for me to say what I was about to say about your church. No. The point I'm no. making no. is. No. No. Yeah. The point I'm making is you idiots pan the Daniel Jones contract. Now you want to sit here and go, oh, don't you have Danny Dimes? Go to hell. So when you were a Pistons fan, when you're a Red Wings fan, when you, whatever, when you were a Lions fan and you were desperate and you needed a quarterback, how can you possibly celebrate these wins? And then the worst part is we're putting this agent who's a nobody. We're putting this agent on TV. I I thought that was a joke. ESPN doing graphics with chicken cutlets, and by the way, those aren't even cutlets. They're they're, they're, they're not even thin. They're not even pounded out. They're, they're, they're ESPN. Do you have an Italian person that works there? Oh, chicken breast, chicken cutlet. Guess it's all the same. I, I don't find any of it cute. So straight up, I, I don't have to like this. It's Christmas. I told my dad, I hope he enjoys it when this idiot is selling lumber at Lowe's next year and you're barking up my tree about why can't the Giants draft a QB. Put that in your stocking. I got friends in New York who are smart and they act stupid. Ah, F it. I'm just going to enjoy it for the moment. Oh, I go. Why don't you go out and do a bunch of coke while you're at it? Enjoy that for the moment. Signed, Len Bias. Regards. Okay. Okay. No, it's not funny, Mike. I want to win, I, and I need a quarterback to win. I'm not a loser like you people. I want Super Bowls, and I need a quarterback to do it. And instead, I got a guy in O.J. Simpson's neck brace from the naked gun with a blank stare. That's Daniel Jones. Oh, uh, hey, Rico. Uh, Tommy Cutlip. 
right there. None of it's cute. None of it's fun. This sucks. And I'm happy for Detroiters. This helps you. This is a reprieve. Green Bay was coming for you. Congrats. I'm still scared you won't beat him in the playoffs. And when I walk in and this guy's like, well, wait, I mean, what if he's your next Purdy? Oh, Tom Brady was undrafted. Shut up. I have every right to be upset. You're upsetting me. He's upsetting me. He's upsetting me. My father upset me. My friend Brian upset me. And, and, and my friend Raph. All of you upset me. All of you. All of you. We're sorry. You're not. And you don't mean it. And that's not <laughs> nice. I am, man. Now, I, I Giants, didn't know I was going to see you Giants are going like to operate this. the Spite store now. Now, I'm going to have to look at J.J. McCarthy's face. Now, if anybody's got something to say, let's do it. I want to know, am I a bad fan? So, is there any way? No, 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 no seriously. there's not. So, he can't be your quarterback? No. Okay. He cannot. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. No, he cannot. Right? That That's what we all do, right? Isn't that nice? Here we go, here. Isn't that what those people do? Oh, oh, oh. oh I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not wearing a I I'm sorry. Should I go put on my uniform? Should I get a little fedora on? Maybe I'll wear a pinstripe Nike sweatshirt. I mean, I thought it was going a little too far, but that's what you his family say. is doing. Weird. I wonder how this would play out if it was a different ethnic group. Oh, wait. Italians are the pinata for everybody. So exciting. Hey, let's pan over to the crowd because every Italian kisses each other. <laughs> no, the agent. I thought the agent just took it way too far. Like, You're kidding. Really? I thought Why it was didn't Photoshop. He just wear Rocky Balboa's trunks? I thought it was Photoshop. Like, this ain't real. Oh, no, it's real. And ESPN just plays right into it. I Nobody it like wants a- to have a conversation about it. They're actively ruining their future. I can't do this. In, in all seriousness, no, I remember when the Lions did this. When they won, I think it was a game against Dallas in week 16, and it took them from like a top five pick. So I think like the 11th, 9th or 11th Rico, pick Rico, we overall. just went from number three to number nine. We are effed. But as you told me, you got the Eagles twice. It doesn't That'll matter. help you. The Patriots can't win. The Carolina Panthers can't win. David, go ahead. You were about to speak. Make it good. No, I was going to say, I thought he was a mascot before the game. Some fan had just brought on to take a picture, and he was going to move on. David, I thought it was just a Photoshop where somebody just took a picture at their house and said, here's me standing next to... Danny DeVito. No, it's 2023. This is where we've arrived at. That this is what we've done. So my question, am I a bad fan? Go ahead. Tell me I'm bad. I'm bad for being upset my team won. I'm bad because I would rather have a future and a draft pick than Tommy Cutlets. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to do this when I do it, right? (laughs) Maybe I'll put on a chef's hat for the remainder of the show. It's not you. It's not offensive. No, 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 no. It's not. It's annoying. Okay. It's no, annoying. I'm, I'm not laughing at you. Oh, I don't care anymore. No, this is. You've already upset me, and I wish that your home collapsed upon you while you slept last night. There's really no coming back big, from Big that. G keeps sending me text messages. Good. So that's what's so Good. funny. Good. Lose the number. See you Christmas Eve. <laughs> don't talk to me. Oh, I'm enjoying it for the moment. <laughs> right here. Respectfully. 248-539-9797. We'll get to the lines. Oh, we haven't even loaded Izzo into the space cannon yet. We'll get to that later. Um, I got a golf question. I like your hoodie. I don't care. If I could put a partition up <laughs> like a giant limousine where I wouldn't have to look at him today. That's what? where I would be. What did I do? Because You know what you did. It's called 1 to 145. That's what you did. And that text you sent me last night. Don't do the babe no, in the no, woods no. with me. No, no, no. No. Don't. Because, no. Don't. No. Yes. No. Yes. Because, okay, you got angry, but I'm like, okay, dude, you just, you're like in the graphic game.